What's going on everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. Today we're going to talk about one of the most popular questions that I get regarding the Matrice 300. Now we have a separate video that goes over all kind of different questions that we get about the Matrice 300 and put them all in that video but I wanted to make a separate video on this one because A, I wanted to show you a couple of things and I wanted to go into a, a little more expansion about that. So what we have here is over and over again, people ask us, do we have to use the smart controller for the Matrice 300 and or can we use a bigger screen like the Crystal Sky monitors? So the answer to those questions is we must use the smart controller. There is no way around that. There is not a larger, more traditional remote with larger control, control sticks. That's not happening right now, and I don't foresee that happening in the near future. But for a display monitor, everybody, well, I shouldn't say everybody, many people do not like how small this monitor is, especially when you're used to the larger Crystal Sky 7.85 display. So it's a hard adjustment to do after you're using that for a couple years with the Matrice 200-210. So what we can do though is we can go ahead and mount this monitor bracket that DJI sells and we can mount that to our smart controller and we can use a tablet and be able to use that just like I am right here. So I'm going to go get this up in the air and I'm going to try to, to do my best to be able to show you on a camera like right, just right behind my shoulder to see what it looks like uh, and we'll go over that in a second. So a few other questions I know I'm going to get asked about, well can you use an iPad? The answer is no. The iPad is not compatible with the Pilot 1.8 or 1.9 app. Very specifically the newer updates that came out in August 2020 on this aircraft and on a new on a con controller allows us to be able to use an external tablet like this but it has to be an Android tablet. So what we're using is the Samsung Galaxy S6 Lite. That's a very popular choice. A lot of people like using that and that seems to be over a, a very you know reasonably priced and has a lot of good results or at least um the specs on them for brightness as the best that I have researched among all the different tablets. So that's what we tried here. Again, for you to be able to use this, you have to go ahead and download the DJI Pilot 1.9 app, and that has to be the APK app. You can't just go under the Play Store and Google and search for DJI Pilot because it's only going to give you 1.8 and it's not going to be compatible with any of this stuff here. I am not impressed with the brightness. It is not as bright as the smart controller for sure. I think that if you used a monitor hood it would be minimally acceptable but as you can see right now we're a very cloudy day here and I'm still having a hard time seeing it really good and my brightness is cranked up all the way. I'm very hesitant to say what it's going to be like in, in really strong sun and I don't like the glare. So if you guys and girls have and tried anything better for brightness let me know and I'll, I'll be glad to try it out and, and see if it works. But that's where we are with this right now and if you have any questions let me know. I'll be glad to talk to you. Thanks again. If you like this video and like to see more free videos in the future please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, if you're interested in free lessons on how to fly drones, discounts on drone equipment, discounts on insurance, or access to our exclusive drone video library, check out our website, steelcityflightacademy.com.